Hi friends, I thought I'd do another video on tips, facts, and hacks, but before we get started, please give me a like and, and, and ring that little bell and comment and subscribe. Oh yeah, subscribe. Let's get started. So the first one's just going to be a little fact. Mattel has made so many collector dolls, but there was a time when they only made dolls for kids. So what was the first collector doll that Mattel made? Do you know what it is? If you do, stop the video, comment, and then come back and see if you got it right. Because I found out which one it was in one of my books that I have. So I'm going to show you. And I had to buy it. Of course I had to buy it. So pause now if you know and, 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 and put your comments. So collectors wanted a doll for adults and they were kind of pressure them to tell. And I read all this in a, in a magazine, so I'm not making this up. I did read it, so if it's wrong, don't shoot me. I'm just telling you what I read. And the, they came out, so Matilda came out with the first doll that was designed only for adults, collectors. And it is this one, and it's called Blue Rhapsody. 1986. Did you get it right? Well, when I read that in my magazine, I had to buy one. And she wasn't terribly expensive. And this is what she looks like. And she is porcelain. Now, I don't think from what, from what I read that um, collectors were as excited they didn't really want a porcelain doll. But she's pretty. She still has her little blue shoes. She's porcelain. I'm going to take got a little netting over her face. I'm going to take this off so I can show her face. Really pretty, pretty dress. The stand has Blue Rhapsody 1986 limited edition Blue Rhapsody Barbie doll. So she has a stand. She's got blue tights and the blue slip up under here. And this has got a lot of glitter, kind of stiff, but not, not too stiff. But um, I think she's pretty. And I like her. I'm glad I got her. She was not terribly expensive. And I do have some other collector dolls. So I wanted the very first one. I like, I like first and things. So that's my first little fact. Two, have you ever tried to get tights or a tight dress on a TNT, the bend leg dolls, and it's just like trying to put blue jeans on back before they had stretch in them? They fit! They fit! Yes! They, they're gonna fit! Well, there's an easy solution for that, and you may already know it, but just in case you don't, this is for people who don't know and, and are new collectors powder powder the legs and if you don't use powder and i don't use powder i use a little cornstarch and it works just fine and the the clothes will just slip right on and you don't struggle and it, it just makes the it just makes it so much easier tip is going to be about midge now we know barbie's name barbie millicent roberts and and midge is midge haley now, I just recently found that out. You may have known this for a long time. And I think she may have been having another name. I saw someone that said that there was three names for Midge also. If you, I don't remember what that was. If you remember, let me know because I, I don't remember that. But since we're on Midge, I wanted to stick with another little fact about Midge. You know, there's so many different types of Midge, but not a whole lot. She was Barbie's BFF for a short period of time, replaced by PJ. But you can get a Midge with teeth. Now, let me grab a midge. So midge, a regular midge had hair that came right down touching her neck. Now the midge with teeth, I'm always dropping things. The midge with teeth, there's a little bitty space right between the lips that you could draw just a thin line. So some people try to fake those and sell them as midge with teeth. With, and if you want to make your own doll midge, I don't see anything wrong with customizing your own dolls the way you want them. But if you want a factory one, they are different. There's two things that's usually different about the one with the teeth. First of all, her hair's shorter. It comes up right along the edge of her ears. And also, she has a googly eye. It's like one of the eyes is kind of like staring off 
out that way so that's usually she's not a very attractive midge but yeah if you want a midge with teeth that's the difference her hair her curl comes up much shorter up around her ears where the other midge will come down about here she's got that googly eye another fact for about midge did you know that they made a few midges without freckles and i have one i'm going to show you my midge without freckles now i guess it's possible to remove them but that's what i thought maybe happened to this one until i read in barbie bazaar that they did make a few without without uh, freckles so i'm thinking this one since most of her makeup looks pretty good i don't think a kid intentionally figured out how to remove freckles if you remove freckles let me know i usually try to make my freckles look even darker but here she is and she's not perfect she's got a little little bit of a hair clip right here so i kept trying to disguise it but yeah they made a midge without freckles who knew suburban shopper and busy morning there's a little bit of a story about those two dresses now there's lots more of suburban shopper than there is busy morning but did you know and i just recently found out so that's why i thought i would share it with you that suburban shopper there's two versions of the dress the one the first one made in 1959 has a tm tag on it one's made after 59 has the r and the ones in 59 there's a few differences it's a lighter blue now i think mine is the one with the r tag my tags raveled so i really can't tell but the ones in 59 was a lighter blue and of course if you have that tm tag you'll know so there is a reason to have two of these if you want one now i'm gonna go on the search for the other one and it's a little more see-through with the white strip it's, you can see through it a little better if I, if I read that correctly but it's a lighter shade of blue and there's a few other differences the telephone the pink telephone that came with it now i have the one that's plastic with with the plastic doll the first ones that came out in 59 had the little metal doll now i've wondered why i've seen some of these with metal and some and i, I always have mine with with the plastic doll but this would have been the later version only the 59 had the metal the metal doll and um and the lighter shade dress with the tm in it so i've got i think i've got the later version the hats are supposed to be a little differences in them maybe my hat is the older hat because it's not supposed to uh, to to ravel out as bad and this one is not it's supposed to have a little stitching that prevents it i don't know if this one's just taken care of or it has little that was a little confusing to me about the hat but there's supposed to be some differences in the hat if you understand the difference in the hat let me know all i know is one kind of ravels and one doesn't this one hasn't raveled so maybe this is the original 59 one i don't know so just a little more information on that also the the little basket was different it was a different type of material now i have not seen it seen these to compare them except for for a picture i have a picture and i'm sure that's not going to show up very well but this one is made out of a lighter thicker woven material that would be the 50 59 version and i think mine is the later version because it, it looks like the later version but i don't know until i have two to compare them it's, it's hard to tell so let's go on a little bit about the um the suburban shopper now suburban shopper I mean busy morning excuse me now let's go on a little bit about busy morning so when they discontinued or they stopped making suburban shopper they came out with busy morning and busy morning is harder to find than suburban shopper and here's why they made busy morning and it wasn't popular no one bought it so they took it off the market and then they came back with suburban shopper and i guess that's when they made the uh the darker blue R version and they put them both back on at the same time and then they were hit but I think there's less it seems like busy mornings a little more expensive a little harder to find when I check them on eBay and especially the hat for that one is really harder to find and they gave her the white phone now far as I know there's not a white phone with a metal dial let me know if there is all I've seen is is the one with the the plastic dial the white one and I have one of those 
So here is the busy morning phone, and it's just white with the plastic dot. It looks just like the pink one, except a pink version and a white version. And these go with these morning and purple chopper. Number six, have you noticed how they made some outfits in the same design in different colors? One example, and these came out at the same time. This is It's Cold Outside, the, the brown version. And I love these coats. These may not be that popular with some people, but I love them. I love all the clothes from that era. They're just really old. I think these are around 64, 65. And some people don't like them because of the, they don't like the silhouette, I think, that it, it gives Barbie. doesn't show her curviness. But anyway, so there was a reasoning for this. It was, one of the reasoning was, that if you bought one for Barbie, hey, mom, you gotta buy one for her best friend Midge. So it was a marketing strategy. Can you think of some more outfits like that? I can think of some, but I'm not sure if they did come out at the same time. Um, I thought Busy Morning and, and Suburban Shopper was one, but they came out different times, so that was not one. How about Swinging Easy and List Dance? Hmm, maybe that's one. Do you know of any others? I know there is more because I read that that was a strategy that that they did. Be sure to watch the end for a doll that I'm trying to learn to customize. I'm working on a special doll. I can't afford it. She's about four thousand dollars if you buy original. Some customized one, and I'm going to show you how it's going. Okay, number eight. <clears throat> now, if you're a new collector and you don't know this or you don't do this, let me give you a little heads up. Is you got to have a bag of junk stuff. You gotta have a bag of junk because Mattel used different things on different items and you can keep this junk pile and you can salvage little items from this one to that one and make your items better shape. I'm gonna give you a couple examples that I have right now. One of them is Sweet Dreams. Now Sweet Dreams, and it also came in pink. Oh, I'd love to have that pink one. Anyway, Sweet Dreams came with a little ribbon that you tied around Barbie's hair. Now those are hard to come across and if they do come across by themselves they're usually a little expensive but you can usually get this especially if you find one that's kind of raggedy or if you have one with a hole in it or whatever you can take it's the same ribbon that they use for the hair that they put on here so it's just barely attached on with the seam ripper you can take it off um, kind of wash it, press it with a cloth, make sure it's nice and smooth, and you have the ribbon that goes with Sweet Dream. Another, another example of that that I'm gonna show you is Career Girl, the little flower on her hat was also used, and I don't need this but on this outfit, but Solo in the Spotlight, I have a Solo in the Spotlight that's in really bad condition it keeps falling apart but this little flower if you have a bad solo in the spotlight and you need the rose for a career girl hat this is the same exact one wow so that's two examples there's lots more there's some buttons and um there's some straps and there's lots of other things. Some of the ribbons you can take off of outfits that are bad and they're the original ribbons like they tied in the hair. There's just a bunch of different things. So keep your bag of your junk stuff. Don't ever throw anything away because there's something you can always salvage from it to make another outfit a better outfit. Now nine is a little tip that I just recently got someone sent me this message I recently got the Reproduction Easter Parade and I got a message from someone that says please don't put that Easter Parade on your vintage doll because it will fade on the arms I know from experience. So I'm passing this tip on to you if you want to get the Easter Parade coat because you know these are like a thousand dollars if they're the 1959 version. I'm going to tell you don't put it on your doll. I'm going to wash mine, soak it with a little vinegar water, see if I can set this, set it in, and maybe put a pair of black gloves on her arms first, and then put the coat on. Or put it on another doll for a while, and just make sure it doesn't fade. But 
be careful with that. That's a tip that I just got, so I want to pass it on to you. A number 10 fact, the Julia doll had two different outfits. Now I have the one that's the two piece and I think that was the first issue, but there's also, she also came with a one piece outfit. I didn't know that. So also on the talking Julia, Diane Carroll actually did the voice. She did the talking for the Julia doll. Isn't that neat? That's neat, but what be neater if you can find one that talks. So I'm customizing a Skipper Sun Sun Malibu. Now what's the Sun Sun Malibu? It's a Malibu that they made. It was only sold in Japan, and it was the Malibus, just like a Malibu Skipper here. There's a Francie and a Skipper. I don't know if there's a Barbie. I've seen the Skipper and the, and the Malibu before. So what it is, it's a Malibu doll with, instead of blonde hair, she has dark hair. Now I have got this doll's hair darkened. She has dark hair and the eyelashes. So I need to add her some eyelashes. Still working on that. I have had time. That's very time consuming. But I will get to it within the next month, hopefully. But I've got her hair dark. Um, I've been doing this a couple of different ways. I'm, I'm trying to make sure it doesn't fade. And you're not going to believe what I use. I use shoe polish. Yes, shoe polish. So I put it on there. And it, it made her hair a little stiff. So I had to comb, 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 and I wash, 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 comb, 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 wash. So I've got it back soft. And then I also use some of the spray that I use on my hair. It's like the dry shampoo with the color in it. So I have sprayed a little bit of that on her hair, and I dip her. She's due for another dipping in some vinegar water, trying to really set this color in. I don't want it to fade. Don't do this. I'm in experimental stage. I just want to show you. I need to wash her again because I, there is a little coming off. I think that, that dry shampoo coming off on her just a little bit. But it usually comes right off the face. But it's looking pretty good. Um, if you know a way of dyeing their hair, because I just cannot do a full reroute. I just don't want to do that. So I'm trying to figure out a way to dye her hair. And so far, I think I'm going to wash it one more time. And if it stays, then I'm going to start on her eyelashes. So when she's finished, I'll show her my son, son, Barbie. My son, son, Skipper. Sorry. My son, son, Skipper. So hope you enjoyed watching that. Watch my next video. I'm going to tell you about... Well, you have to watch it. Happy Barbie hunting. <laughs>